Hey guys, my name is Renato Depp and today I'm going to be talking about the number one thing I learned about staying productive as a college student after one year studying mechanical engineering at Rolls Holman. The number one thing I learned after being a Rolls Holman student for a year is to not leave homework assignments, studying for tests and reading assignments or whatever to the very last minute before they're due. So I'm right here in the library and I have a lot of things that are due today. I have so usually I like to be two or three days ahead of schedule. This was not possible because I had matches this weekend. This might sound very obvious and cliche, but it's something that's definitely way harder in practice than in theory. And hopefully if you stick around to the end of the video, you're gonna understand why I chose to talk about specifically this. Another thing that's very important to note is that this tip is coming from a place of, I don't do this enough, I wish I did this more, and not that, not from a place of, I'm perfect and I do this all the time, you should do exactly like me, because, um. At the end of the day, it's all about experimenting with different things and see what works and what doesn't. And also, and you also always have to keep in mind that things don't always go as planned. So just a reminder. So right now I'm going to go into four reasons why I think you should give this a try and stick until the end because the last one might change your mind. The very first one, the reason why you should be a little bit ahead of your work is because leisure time becomes true leisure time if you don't have anything that's due on that specific day. One of the benefits of being a little bit ahead on classes is that you know you can always just uh, focus on whatever it is that you're doing uh, once you're done with the homework that's due later instead of always having the thought in your mind oh I have to do that and I have to do that homework assignment that's due pretty soon and you just you can just relax and enjoy whatever activity you're doing um, outside of outside of classes. So you should choose a time that you want to do something else instead of working on homework, studying or working on your classes. If you're only going to be able to enjoy that time 100% if you don't have stuff going on in your mind that you have to turn in that day that you have to work on later because you can choose to do those activities outside of class guilt free. And the reason this is a key thing is because this is what it's ultimately going to allow you to relax and not burn out and enjoy your time off when you're not working on homework, not, or not studying and not in class. The second reason why I think you should be a little bit ahead on your classes is choice. When I talk about being a little bit ahead in classes, people are usually like, oh, but you're not living the present, you're living in the future, you're not enjoying your moment, you're always working ahead and this is working way too hard, this is overachieving. But in fact, this is what makes you enjoy the present moment a lot more. If you are one, two or three days ahead on the stuff you had and something shows up that you want to do, you always have the choice of doing that thing. And then if nothing comes up that day, you can choose to get even more ahead on your stuff or you can choose to just relax and do something else. So being a little bit ahead gives you choice on the things you want to do and you don't feel stuck to doing whatever you're obligated to do. The third reason, and this is a very key reason why you might want to be a little bit ahead on your stuff, is because of material understanding. And this is all based on the concept of space repetition. If you're taught something in lecture one day, you probably want to review that stuff rather sooner than later, because if you let accumulate lots of material to be reviewed at a later time, it's gonna be harder for you to have a good understanding of all of it. If I accumulate multiple homework assignments and, and do them uh, a few days after it was taught in lecture, I might forget a little bit what went on, but since I just had this concept lecture that's about homework 10, I'm gonna work on it right now, and, and that's gonna force me to understand the material. Instead of accumulating lots of things that I'm only gonna reveal all of them at a later time, I can review them once at a time, and that's gonna be much more effective. So making sure to be just a little bit ahead on stuff makes that your study sessions are all equally spaced or better spaced out throughout your week, your month, and that makes you understand the material that you're learning better and overall it's going to give you better performance on your tests and exams. And now maybe the fourth most important and maybe most obvious reason why you should do this is that if you're going to do the thing anyway, why leave it to the last minute if you're going to do it anyway? If you're someone that is planning on not turning in a few homework assignments here and there because you have other priorities, that's totally fine. I totally get it. I feel like it's a totally legit legitimate purpose not to do your homework if you are not if you don't want to do it if you want to focus on other stuff if you're going to do it anyway you're going to have to spend the time either way be be it close to the deadline or a few days before so if you're going to spend that time anyway if you're going to dedicate that time anyway to studying and doing your homework you might as well just do it before because it's going to take up the same amount of time 
I'm someone who doesn't work well at night because that's when I'm the least productive. If I left stuff for the last minute, I'll be forced to be working at that time and I would be way less productive. I would waste way more time because I am then plan ahead to work on the time of the day that I have the most energy, the most focus, the most productivity. Not that that doesn't happen. It sure happens sometimes. It happened last week a couple times where I, ha where I had to be working at night before because I had stuff due at midnight. If most days I can be just a little bit ahead and not have to work at that time. That's great. That makes me save a lot of time. I'm ready here to submit homework eight. I still haven't finished homework nine. If I had waited a couple more days, I might forget a little bit what we went over in lecture. So now I get to practice instantly after learning it, which is a very effective way of uh, retaining the, the content learning class. At least for me, it works well. So things have not been going as planned. Uh, I just finished my workout here because even though I'm not as ahead on homework as I wish I was, um, you no, know, it's never an excuse to skip the things that matter to you. So that's why I came to my workout and now I'm gonna head to do some studying uh, so that I can hopefully catch up to the things that I was planning to do yesterday. be able to get ahead by tomorrow which is Wednesday so that I could um, you know work with the ball machine a little bit on some of my some of the tennis stuff that um, came out during the weekend some some things that I think I can improve so I was hoping to be able to do that on Wednesday with my mind free free of worries free of guilt free of you know thinking about stuff that I need to get done um, but at least I'm ahead enough that I've been able to work out this morning, that I was editing vlogs for two hours last night before going to bed. And then sometimes if I'm not ahead at all, I sometimes I wouldn't have the, cho the choice to do those things, you know. Uh, so yeah, going home right now. I uh, did some work, I went to class, and um, now I'm going home because I need to have therapy today during the days so the one thing I usually don't like to do I usually eat dinner and then after I'm done with dinner I I don't like to do homework because I'm usually because I'm not very productive at that time of the day but um, I might have to do that today because um, I have stuff to do so either way it's fine I'm gonna I'm gonna find time to do the things that I need to do since uh, 7 p.m. was night, so that felt good. And, and I have a, now I have a second therapy to attend with back day with the uh, personal stuff, but we'll, we'll get through. I just came back to campus, done with both the therapies I had today. Quite a bit of fun, actually. Now I have to take my Spanish test, which I didn't study for, but that was a purpose. Yeah, I have to, to take the test from three to four and then I practice at six. Hopefully before practice, I'm gonna be able to jam in some um, some uh, homework and some stuff that's due today and tomorrow. So it's good that I'm filming this real time so you guys can see that sometimes the, the tip I'm giving you, the advice I'm giving you, it's not coming from a place of like, I do this all the time, but it's also coming from a place where when I don't do it, it's it sucks. So 
that's that's where it's coming from for the most part not just from i do this all the time and i'm perfect i go home now i did most of what i needed to do relief so tomorrow's gonna be another back day too. i'm very tired mentally practice wasn't even very good for me today because i was just so tired men mentally but hopefully tomorrow will be a a better a better day and it's gonna be packed as well and so trust me the weeks and the days where i feel like i'm a little bit ahead of my work are the days where i have the most joy because i feel the most freedom and it's this is probably the reason why you're not getting ahead in the first place because you want more freedom you want to be in control you want to have the choice of the things you're doing but the true choice the true freedom comes when you get ahead of yourself a little bit and then you can do things guilt-free you can do things you can ultimately choose what you're going to do and you can boost your productivity by not leaving stuff um, to be done at the last minute. I'm just going to have some of the last leftover from lunch to eat right now and go to bed as soon as possible so that I can wake up early tomorrow, do my workout, go to the lab, go to maybe I might go to an optional lecture and then go from there. I hope you guys like this video. I'm very excited about where my YouTube channel is at right now. Please leave a comment down below. Um, I want to know what kind of videos you guys want to watch, uh, what kind of videos you want me to make. So please leave a comment down below telling me what you want to see in this channel. And um, I mean, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.